Scene script. Ever wonder why your toast always lands butter side down? Well, wonder no more, my friend. Welcome to the unbelievable reality of life, a place where the mundane meets the bizarre, and the facts are stranger than fiction. We're diving headfirst into the rabbit hole of life's peculiarities, and the first stop on this wild ride is your breakfast table. Now, we've all been there. The morning rush, the hustle, and then it happens. Your perfectly buttered toast slips from your grasp and, as if in slow motion, it takes a nosedive towards the floor, landing unceremoniously butterside down. You may think it's just bad luck, or perhaps the universe's way of telling you to skip carbs today. But here's the thing, it's actually science. According to a scientific study, yes, someone actually studied this, buttered toast has a 50% chance of landing butterside down because of the physics involved in its fall. The height of a typical table, the weight of the toast, and even the butter's distribution contribute to this butter-side-down phenomenon. So, the next time your toast takes a tumble, don't blame your clumsy fingers. It's physics at work. Moving on from breakfast blunders, let's swim into the weird world of shrimps. Did you know that a shrimp's heart is located in its head? Yes, you heard that right. These little crustaceans carry their hearts in their heads. Now, I know some of you are thinking, that's not such a bad idea. It'd save a lot of trouble on Valentine's Day. But it's not all fun and games. Imagine if every headache was a potential heartache. Not so appealing now, is it? As we traverse the unbelievable reality of life, we find that the world is full of peculiarities that can make us chuckle, marvel, and scratch our heads in disbelief. So next time your toast lands butter side down, just remember, at least you're not a shrimp with a heart in your head. Ever thought about how a chicken can live without its head? No? Well, let's dive into the weird world of chickens. Now I know what you're thinking. A headless chicken? That's a load of balderdash. But I assure you, it's no tall tale. There once was a chicken named Mike, who, after a botched beheading, lived for a whopping 18 months without a head. No, seriously, I'm not yanking your chain. Mike was fed and watered through an eyedropper, and he strutted around like he owned the place. Now, if that's not a testament to the absurdity of nature, I don't know what is. But wait, there's more. Let's take a moment to appreciate the humble snail. This little creature, as it turns out, has a rather peculiar sleeping habit. In fact, it makes the phrase sleeping like a log seem like an understatement. A snail, my dear listener, can sleep for three years. Yes, you heard it right, three years. While we humans toss and turn, counting sheep or sipping chamomile tea, this tiny gastropod is out there, curled up in its shell, catching some serious Zs. So the next time you're struggling to get a good night's sleep, just remember, there's a snail out there, somewhere, having the nap of a lifetime. Just imagine, while you're struggling with insomnia, there's a snail out there having the nap of a lifetime. Now let's talk about something closer to home, or should I say, closer to our belly button. Fact 5. Prepare to have your minds blown, folks, because did you know we're all human glow sticks? That's right, you heard me correctly. Every single one of us, in the dark, glows. It's just that this glow is a thousand times weaker than our naked eyes can see. So, next time you're playing hide-and-seek in the dark, remember you're not as invisible as you might like to think. You're basically a disco ball, minus the glitz and glamour. Now, on to our sixth fact. Every belly button, yes, including yours, is a mini ecosystem, a bustling metropolis, if you will, home to hundreds of species of bacteria. That's right, folks, your belly button is essentially a microcosm of New York City, just a lot smaller and hopefully a bit cleaner. It's wild, it's diverse, and it's happening right there in the middle of your torso. Who knew? And there you have it, the human body, a marvel of nature, a glowing spectacle in the dark, and a bacterial metropolis in your belly button. It's a wacky world we live in, isn't it? So, the next time you're in the dark, remember you're a human glow stick. And as for your belly button, well, it's a party in there. Just when you thought things couldn't get any weirder, let's take a trip to outer space. Now you may be thinking, I've heard about black holes and supernovas, what could possibly surprise me? Well, let me introduce you to our celestial neighbour, Venus. This lovely lady of the solar system has a rather peculiar sense of time. Forget about the 9 to 5 grind, Venus laughs in the face of your earthly schedules. You see, a day on Venus, the time it takes to rotate once on its axis, is actually longer than a Venusian year the time it takes to orbit the Sun. Yes, you heard right. Venus spins around so slowly that by the time it's done with a full rotation, it's already made a trip around the Sun. And there you have it, folks. Venus has more hours in a day than a procrastinator's dream. Makes you feel a bit better about your own 24-hour day, doesn't it? 
So there you have it. Seven of the most random, craziest facts that you probably didn't know. We've journeyed through the unbelievable realities of life, like the fact that ostriches can outrun Usain Bolt and that bananas are technically berries. We've delved into the absurdities of nature, revealing that, yes, trees do actually sleep at night. We've explored the peculiarities of the human body, like the fact that we shine, albeit very dimly, and that we replace our skin every month. And we've uncovered the strangeness of the universe, including how a day on Venus is longer than a year on Earth. It's been a whirlwind of weirdness, a pandemonium of peculiarity, a maelstrom of madness. But isn't it all just wonderfully bizarre? And remember, the next time your toast falls butter side down, just be grateful you're not a headless chicken on Venus with a three-year nap schedule. Until next time, keep questioning the craziness of this universe we live in.